Hey, Justin Abel here with STL Tones. In this video, I wanna take you through the new update to Control Hub. There's new reverbs, there's changes to the drive section, there's a bunch of new things. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here's the session. Let's pull up Control Hub. Uh, let's go through the reverbs first. So I have this aw vocal that's going through the chorus of this song. Uh, it sounds like this, totally dry. And it definitely needs some more space to it. So let's go ahead, we're gonna pull up the reverb section here. Let's go to Atmosphere. So Atmosphere, like the name suggests, is a very spacey, lush reverb. So here's the, the initial setting. So as you can see, inside of Atmosphere, there's a bunch of different types. So I'll just start kind of scrolling through them so you can get a taste. I actually really like that one for this part. Let me dial in a little bit of compression while we're at it. I love this bass on that, <laughs> that sounds rad. In addition to Atmosphere, there's also a new unit called Detroit. Now, Detroit is a vintage chamber sound, so um, it has a lot, of, a lot of vibe to it, and you can use this thing on anything. Yeah, I like how that sounds too. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different types inside of this as well. So for this next example, let's move over to the lead vocal. As you can see, I bypassed all of the plugins and here's a default control hub. This is what it sounds like with nothing on. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. I'll... So sounds great already, but definitely needs some help. So you'll notice at the top of these modules, there's now a lock button. So by clicking that, it will lock this module to not change no matter what preset you're loading. So for example, let's go ahead and just dial in one of these tracer compressors. I love this L ray that somebody made. So uh, let's just dial it in really quick. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. And then let's go ahead and dial in in the pre-EQ, just take out some of those plosives. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. So that's sounding great. So say I just, I know I want that compressor character. So I'm gonna lock the dynamic section and lock the pre-EQ section. And then let's go ahead, let's load up an F Reed Shippen vocal preset. So you can see all of the parameters changed on the other sections, but the two sections that I locked did not change. And as I scroll through presets, you will see that those parameters just stay the same. Let's go ahead and listen to this. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up and bleed me out. I'll be your ally in the shadows, call me up. Wow, I'm really happy with how that sounds. And so just for sake of example, if I unlock these and I start cycling through these presets, you'll see that these settings of the dynamics and the pre-EQ start to change to what was originally made in the preset. So for this next example, let's hop over to the drum bus. I'm super excited about this new feature. You'll see right next to the drive knob that there's a volume link button. This gangs together the volume and the drive knob so that you can drive into the color section with volume compensation. So it doesn't just get louder. Yeah. 
And last, but definitely not least, there have been updates to the Trace Exchange. So now you'll notice that there is an infinite scroll, so you don't have to click over to uh, page two or three. This just keeps going and going, so it makes it really easy to find what you're looking for or just kind of browse around. Another new feature is that this search bar is always searching on a global level. Let me show you what I mean. So if I go into Will Putney's profile and say I'm right here and I really want to find something that has Neve character to it, if I search this, it's going to search the entire trace exchange and bring up anything that has Neve inside of the metadata. Once again, just a great way of searching through the trace exchange to find what you're looking for really quickly. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoy the new Control Hub update. If you have any further questions, go to stltones.com to learn more.